Oliver Fricker, 32 years old, Swiss national, business consultant, alleged vandal. On the 5th of June, he was charged with two counts of vandalism and one count of trespassing for trespassing the Changi train depot on the 17th of May and spray painting two train carriages. Mr. Fricker was due in court today at 3.30pm at Court 6 of the subordinate court after Monday's session was adjourned. The media was stationed outside the subordinate courts from as early as 2pm, but Mr. Fricker was a no-show at 3.30pm. Both local and international media turned up to cover Mr. Fricker's case. More than 10 foreign journalists were from various international wire agencies such as AP, Reuters and AFP. At 4.30pm, Mr. Fricker finally turned up with his lawyer, Derek Kong, and this was the scene that greeted the Swiss hey, national. Are you? are you okay? Mr. Fricker's defense entourage met the prosecution side for 10 minutes and left the subordinate court at 5.20pm. His case was adjourned for the second time this week and will now be heard on Friday. No details were given as to why the case was adjourned. International interest in Mr. Fricker's case is strong, with it having been reported in international news media like BBC, AFP and British papers The Guardian, The Telegraph and The Times. A number of reports mention Singapore's strict laws and the punishment for vandalism here. If convicted, Fricker faces a fine of up to $2,000 and or a jail sentence of up to 3 years and caning of not less than 3 strokes for each vandalism charge. Razor TV asked foreigners in Singapore what they think of Mr. Fricker's case and of caning as a punishment. Singapore's handling it the right way. Uh, I think it, it's a good deterrent. Good deterrent? Yes. Um, do you think it's too cruel? No, I really don't. If it's convicted and he did it, then yes, it should be fine. It's the penalty for the crime. I guess everybody who comes to Singapore ought to know that the law is strict and if they do something like that, they should take the punishment. Well, I guess under the law, he should be punished. It's, I guess the judge has a discretion whether they might impose a lighter punishment yeah. and perhaps he might do so. I think, I think it's harsh, but uh, I think based on Michael Fay's case back in the 90s, he probably should have known what the consequences could have been, potentially. This is probably um, something he planned out, uh, so he wasn't probably drunk or on drugs when he did this and the artwork was probably good so he probably put a lot of time and thought into this so he must have been aware of the risks and I'm very surprised that anyone sane would do this yeah I'm not all for the caning because because people reoffend. when I read it I thought wow he was really really stupid you just don't come to Singapore and do something like that unless you're really really dumb so um, I don't feel particularly sorry for him. 